Hey everybody, it's Leila, aka Leiloka. I am going to share something with you guys today that has really, truly touched me. Um, I got this yesterday and I just got permission to share this with you all. I was waiting uh, for her to respond to say, yep, it's okay. Um, uh, so I'm going to excuse myself in advance if I get emotional with this because this is the stuff that I love and this is what I'm living for to help transform lives and um, it was because of this email that I got yesterday that completely put me into a different zone of my another reason of why I'm doing what I'm doing and I, and I need to hurry up and get out there so that I can um, create more leaders in this industry to, to really connect with more people like this. So I'm going to read you an email. I'm not going to mention names and um, I, want to, I want to keep her name anonymous. Um, and um, I just wanted to, you know who you are, and I want to thank you very much for sending this email to me because, oh boy, it, it did a lot. You have no idea how much this email meant to me. So, here we go. I'm going to read this to you, right? So, um, I should really grab some, that's all right, don't worry about tissues. It's already, I can already feel the heat behind my eyes. So, anyway, here it goes. Hi there, Leila. My name is... Ah, I'm going to say the name. And I've been meaning to send a message to you for a while. My main issue was, I don't know how to write this as I am not too sure what I'm asking. A cousin of mine holds various uh, fitness classes back in Gisborne in New Zealand and suggested I add you on Facebook and use you as a motivator in getting myself back on track. I'm going to keep... Oh, sorry. I'm going to try and keep my story brief so I don't bore you, but I'm currently a whopping 125 kilos. And this is the heaviest I've ever been. I've always been a big girl, being Maori and loving my food. When I was 17, I enlisted into the Royal New Zealand Air Force where I got my smallest ever, 80 kilos. After six years, I left the um, RNZAF to pursue a better life here in Aussie. Since then, I've managed to put on so much weight and I'm so unhappy. I know I'm the only one who can make a difference to myself, and I'm in no way looking for sympathy. I just want advice. I've been following your page for a couple of weeks now, and you always brighten up my days. You give me hope and always seem to make me believe in myself again. I'm currently in a very happy relationship, and my partner loves me for who I am and never brings my weight up. He is of solid build, but not overweight, and we have a beautiful 13-month-old daughter who we both cherish, but has, as he works... FIFO and is away for seven weeks at a time and only home for one week it is hard I don't have many friends in fact I don't have any really that live nearby the closest is five hours away and I find it hard to exercise by myself I do okay for the first week and then it sort of fizzes out <coughs> I was given the insanity program by an uncle of mine who suggested I start doing it a few weeks ago I started the program I would walk first thing in the morning and then come home and do my workout for the day and that lasted for just over a week. And I don't want to sound like I'm making up excuses, but it was so hard, which I loved because it was a challenge. But I think the issue was when I would go for my walks with my daughter in her pram between eight, four to eight kilometers, I would get yelled at, profanities, being called a hippo and fatso, and that I shouldn't be walking. I am a strong person at the best of times, but this was happening every time I walked with my daughter. Whew is already getting to me and it is embarrassing and belittling I hate being made to feel like I'm disgusting to society and I don't want to hide inside my home because I'm afraid of what people are going to say the next day do you have any advice for someone like me and I also wanted to ask if the insanity program is appropriate for someone of my size as I am unsure as to whether you can only do it when you are of a smaller size and what keeps you motivated well, a lot. <laughs> my goal is to get back within a healthy weight range and bring my BMI down to where it should be. I know what I am, and uh, I know that I'm never going to be. I'm never going to be stick thin, but I do want to get down to a healthy weight range where I'm able to see my daughter through her older years, and hopefully be able to have another child in the distant future. Thank you for taking the time to read this. I understand that you most probably are extremely busy. <laughs> and I loved your Michael Jackson video, by the way. This is one of my favorite songs, closely followed by PYT. Thank you again. So I responded to that. You know, all of you that know me know exactly what kind of response I would have given. 
very passionate and um, I'm not going to read my response but what I am going to do is I'm going to read her response to my response. <laughs> so uh, she says, hi Layla, hi again. Thank you for your prompt response. I really appreciate it. I am sorry, but I forgot to mention that I actually live in Perth. Beautiful, but behind the times. Uh, I love it here. I didn't expect to hear from you for a while. Oh, by the way, I responded within minutes. <coughs> I dropped everything that I was doing and I responded uh, because it's important. This, this stuff is important. Um, I love it here. I didn't expect to hear from you for a while as I can only imagine how incredibly busy and under the pump you must be. And I'm sure you are inundated, inundated with emails asking for advice. So I really thank you for taking the time to respond to mine. At the moment, I'm trying to build up the courage to start walking again. I went for a short walk this morning, not very far as I did not want to take the risk of being yelled at again. I truly feel no one should feel victimized nor discriminated against due to their size. Same goes for color, race, sexuality, etc. Your response made me teary-eyed and very emotional. We have never met, yet you make me feel like I matter. You make me believe in myself and I want to make a difference. <sighs> yeah, just one sec, guys. <laughs> um... I'm really grateful that my cousin told me to add you on Facebook because it's given me so much more hope. Thank you for being awesome. Thank you for believing in us all. And thank you for being a great model, role model for us. <laughs> and then she signs off with her name. Um, yes, I told you guys, I, I thought I'd warn you because this stuff gets to me. Um, it's, it's where my heart is. And I'm not... I don't go around calling myself a personal trainer. I I know that I'm more than that. And I'm not trying to belittle any personal trainers out there that have this title. But that's all it is, people. It's a title. So all of you that have studied the physiology and anatomy of a person's body and how to correct a person's form, how to lift weights, all of you trainers out there that have... Um, <clears throat> learned a little bit about nutrition. What the fuck are you doing wrong? Because people like this woman need us, need all of you. This email was not about, you know, um, muscle tone and diet and nutrition. It was really about, you know, being made to feel good. So emotions are so important here and if I can help not if I'm going to help I've made a promise to her that I'm gonna help her so we're gonna work on a journey together to get her mindset straight so my mission is to get her mindset at a point where she totally believes in herself and can completely walk past all these fucking dickheads who belittle her and one day they will actually notice her and shut their mouths because they're gonna see that all her efforts um, were due to her inner strength and that nobody could break her, not even their horrible words and insults. I don't understand why people do that. Like, it's so disgusting that people can make other people feel so terrible, and especially when they're big. So they're big for a reason. They're not big just because they ate so much. They ate so much for a reason. There's reasons behind that. I don't believe what anybody says that they're happy and overweight. That's fucking bullshit. So, all of you trainers out there, I really want you to hear me out. Really, really, really reach out to all these people that need our help. All the people that are in the gym that are already training, stop fucking going walking up to them and asking them to be uh, your client. They already know what they're doing. Go out there and reach out to the people that need you. Form a group, form a community, do something because we have an epidemic here in Australia. It's freaking global. But we need to reach out to these people. And, you know, I can't do this on my own. And there's other trainers that are like me. There are other fitness professionals that are like me. And, um, you know, who have the same heart, the same compassion. This is about compassion, people. You know, empathizing, not sympathizing, but empathizing with people that need our help. You know, they struggle, they have their inner battles, they have this voice in their head that says, nah, can't do it, don't want to get up today, I'm just going to go and open the fridge and I'm going to eat. I feel like shit, so I'm just going to eat, 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 eat. 
and I don't want to go for a walk because people are going to tease me. I don't want to go to the gym because people are going to look at me, look at all my flab, you know, look at my butt, look at my muffin tops. Okay, you don't have, for all of you big people out there, um, you don't have a beach body just yet. And who gives a shit about beach body, right? Um, you need to uh, be able to get yourself to a point where you can be healthy. And like this woman said in her email, she wants to be able to have another child and she wants to grow with her current, <coughs> current child and be able to play with her and be able to have the energy to see her teenage years through, you know, like this is so important. Um, I'm extremely passionate about this and the program that I'm going to release um, in the next couple of weeks, the, the book that I'm going to, um, the ebook that I'm going to write uh, for you guys to download, it's all about connection. It is all about, you know, building your business and yeah, so what, if you make more money, great, you know what, the, the, the more money you're making from this just represents and reflects how much you are connecting with people. So that's my message for the day and um, excuse the no makeup face, <laughs> I am at home, I'm unwell, I have a bit of a chesty cough so I've just swallowed a whole bunch of vitamin C and beta alanine, I refuse to take medication and all that crap. I'm not putting poison into my body. Anyway, um, I hope you guys really listen carefully to this message and, and, and do something to help somebody else today. That's what your purpose in life is today. So this was my greatest motivation. It made me make decisions that were very, very, very powerful yesterday. And um, hence the reason why I'm about to do some very powerful things to help create a platform to change more lives. So that's it for me people I hope that you all have a wonderful day once again and if you have any questions anybody out there that wants to reach out to me please do I'm here to help I'm here to talk to you I'm here to hear you out and connect with you that's my that's my aim that's me that's who I am all right peace out Lay little guy.